good everybody welcome back to another my name toys video today we're going to be reviewing this entire stack of brand new wwe action figures <laughs> So today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be reviewing every single figure that you see here today. We're just going to take a figure, unbox it, review it real quick, show you everything that it comes with and everything like that. Since so many of you didn't give a damn about my video yesterday in the Elias Elite 60 review, I'm just going to review all of these in one video here today, we got some Walmart exclusive SummerSlam Elites. We got brand new Elite 60 figures from Ringside. We have the new Target exclusive Shark Elite that was like a Canada Toys R Us exclusive, but now they are re-releasing it as a Target exclusive. We also have the other Target exclusive NXT Elites and, of course, our Elite 60 from Ringside. So uh, we're just going to go through this stack, guys. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, so I guess we'll start things off with the Shark Elite. Again, I love the box on this thing you can see the teeth going around it says includes headband so the only thing you get is the headband but this is a really unique figure you know it, it's uh it's pretty unique i remember when i first saw this i really didn't care for it because obviously i didn't get to witness the shark's career or anything like that but uh, this is a really awesome figure from wcw we have the shark so this is really cool and uh, let's go ahead and crack him open uh i hate that i'm gonna be ruining this box right here and i'm not gonna have one mock but since it's gonna be a target exclusive i guess it won't really matter anyway so i guess we'll go ahead and rip this open see behind there it says shark attack i think that's freaking sweet so we'll just throw this off to the side so we got our little headband up here and then we have the figure so here we have the shark guys and this is a really cool attire it's obvious that you know this is a throwback attire that this is not one of a current day attire as you can tell with the graphics on there it says shark uh, you got the shark down the side of the pants another shark right there on the back it's just a blue color you have shark attack on the sleeve and you have his tattoo and then you have his headband that does say attack on it i may even trade this so if anybody's interested in uh trading for this i may be up for that you got his nice dark blue boots again it, just a cool flashback figure nothing current day or anything like that so it's probably not that special to a lot of current day collectors but if you're a flashback collector this is this is a very nice piece i think they did a fantastic job on it to the accuracy of the character and the attire and everything so they did a really good job on this figure guys so now we are moving on to our next figure i guess next up we will do seth freaking rollins in his SummerSlam attire we have seen this figure multiple times on the channel and uh, we have, you know, so many of these. This is, I think this is my fourth Seth Rollins SummerSlam Elite. So, so we do get our Raw Tag Team Championship. And then we get the man. And since we have two of them, guys, I guess I can go ahead and open both of them up at the same time. That way, you know, we don't see the same thing twice. So here we have the Raw Tag Team Championship, guys. I'm sure you guys have already seen this before. But uh, we do have a dual pair of them. So now we have a new set of Raw Tag Team Championships. And then, of course, we have our Seth freaking Rollins figures. Uh, they do come with their entrance vests from SummerSlam when he teamed with Dean Ambrose to, uh, I believe, lose their Raw Tag Team Championships to the bar. But this is a really sweet attire. I love the red. Again, this is my fourth SummerSlam Rollins. So I will be adding these over there to the Seth Rollins shelf. I picked them up because, I don't know, I just love Seth Rollins, first of all. But second of all, maybe I can go in here and paint them up and do like a custom or do some fantasy attires or something like that. But we do have this. I love the red attire. Again, just going through, we have the SR logo right there. They did, however, miss some little buckles that, and straps that went right here. I did notice on the figure. So maybe... Uh, one day I'll come in here and either sculpt or like put some, uh, I don't remember what that stuff's called, Warbler or whatever it is, and come in here and add those buckles, but we will see. Got the nice little head scan on there. I don't really care for this head scan, but you know, it'll have to do for now until I get some extras. But that is Seth freaking Rollins. We are moving on to the next figures. I guess the next figure we will open is the brand new Elite 60 Giant Machine Guy. So let's go ahead and open her up. So with this figure, we get quite the amount of stuff, guys. We get this one Andre the Giant head scan without the mask. And then we get the Andre the Giant figure with the mask. And it does have this cloth singlet that is removable. And I believe he does have, like, some yellow trunks underneath here. So if you slide this off... Yeah, he does have yellow trunks, so I think you're supposed to have him in the yellow trunks. You pop the head off and you put the other one on there. I guess we can go ahead and see how easy that is to do. So I think you just kind of... Oh, God, I'm kind of scared to do this. I don't want to, like, snap the peg off or anything like that. Okay, so it does come off pretty easily. I think it's just because the peg's not that long and the, uh, the peg hole on these heads are actually 
pretty big that way you know it just allows for easy uh, transitions so there you go so I mean they they should do that in the in the future guys we should get like multiple head skins like that make every figure like that so head swaps and stuff will be way easier sort of like Marvel Legends but uh, you see here we got Andre the Giant got the massive hands got the yellow trunks underneath the black singlet so that is really nice I love the cloth singlet it sucks that it can't fit multiple guys but, you know, I guess you could throw it on Big Show if you wanted to, even though the tights will probably be too long. But this is a really sweet Andre the Giant figure, guys. If you don't own an Andre the Giant, I actually traded mine, so this one will be my new Andre. And this is a very sweet figure, guys. If you if you enjoy Andre the Giant and you want to pick up the iconic Andre the Giant, definitely go grab this from ringside. Next up, we have a Target-exclusive NXT figure in Alexander Rusev. So we have an early version of Rusev to open up right here. So with Rusev, we get two different accessories. We get this breakaway wooden plank, it looks like. And then we have his little kilt entrance accessory. So here we have his first accessory, guys. I think it's just like a breakaway wooden board, uh, which doesn't look very wooden. So I don't really know what this is supposed to be. But I think this is just like a wooden 2x4. But not much paint detail or, uh, you know, design in there. It's just like a flat piece of plastic that's glossy. So it really doesn't look like a plank of wood. And then you have his little entrance kilt thing that we have seen similar to what the bar had in the Elite 58. So that is interesting. But you take off this and you pretty much have the same exact thing underneath. So that's kind of funny to see what Rusev looked like back in NXT. But we do have this little black mark on his nose that I'm going to have to try and get off, I guess. There's a little mark in his eyebrow as well. But uh, Rusev's looking good. I love me some Rusev, so this is very nice. I am loving this figure. It'd be cool to see what it looked like if you gave him like updated hair or something. Maybe if it would look more like Rusev. But uh, I like this figure. I love Rusev figures. I love my Elite 34 fix-up or whatever mine is with the custom head from BEW. So I'm happy to add another Rusev to the collection. I wish they would make more Rusevs. There's so many attires that I like of his, especially his purple one that he's rocking right now with Rusev Day on it. I'm sure that here soon we will get an update to Rusev, maybe in a different line, but uh, here is Rusev. He looks great, and I'm happy to pick this one up. Next up, we have the Elite 60 Triple H, one of my favorite wrestlers of all time, so I cannot wait to crack this guy open. Oh yeah, guys, this looks freaking sweet. We get his sledgehammer, and this is from his match with Seth freaking Rollins at WrestleMania 33. Got his sledgehammer right here. And I'm so happy Mattel gave us this one, guys, because I was actually going to get a custom made of this figure, so I'm so glad that Mattel gave us this. Looks like he has something on his face or something. Let me go ahead and zoom in right here. It's like his right nostril has like a weird thing on it. I don't know what that is. Maybe that's like a little black mark I'm going to have to acetone off or something. That way uh, I get the lightness because it looks like he has a massive nostril or something like that. But this figure he is... Freaking beautiful. Love Triple H so much. Easily one of my favorites of all time. We also get his entrance vest on the back there. It has, uh, I don't really know how to say that, guys. So I think it's a different language. So I don't even want to try and say that and butcher the crap out of it. But uh, I love the graphics on the back of the trunks. You got that skull design. And on the front, you have the same thing. So just a beautiful Triple H. This is our first ever Triple H bearded head scan. So I want to get a bunch of these. If they get cheap on Amazon like Triple H figures usually do, uh, I'm going to definitely pick up a few of these to add on different figures, some fantasy attires and such. But um, I believe this makes like my 35th or 6th Triple H Elite, so I'll definitely have to add this to the long Triple H shelf that we got over there. Uh, standard Triple H figure, you know, after the head skin and the trunks and the accessories, you got the uh, Triple H crosses on the back of the elbow pads in the black and white, you got the white wrist tape, white knee tape, and then his black knee pads with his logos on the boots. So just a fantastic job by Mattel on this figure. It looks great. looks just like he did at WrestleMania 33. Next up, we have another Target exclusive, guys. We have the NXT Ember Moon. So glad to finally get this figure, guys. I feel like I passed on this at retail so many different times before, but I finally decided to pick it up. She does come with her, her little uh, mouth mask. You can put this over her face. And she does have her entrance hoodie that uh, I'll probably take off right now because she is on the main roster. She is on Monday Night Raw now, so thank God. Uh, so this is actually a reason to use this figure. I can finally use it in pr uh, predictions, videos, and all that good stuff. But Ember Moon looking fantastic. Easily one of my favorite women on the roster. Her and Becky Lynch. She's just a great in-ring performer, great character, very unique style and everything. So Ember Moon has finally made her way to the MDT roster 
on my shelves and my collection. So this is a fantastic figure. You got all the good stuff going around on her attire. Her hair looks really good. They did a great job on that. I think the head scan does resemble much of Ember Moon. And uh, you get two cool accessories, so I don't think you can beat this. Next up, we have two different members of the New Day. We have Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods. So here we have Kofi Kingston and Xavier. I guess we'll start off with Xavier, guys. We have seen this head scan before in his last Elite, and we did see this same head scan with the Toys R Us exclusive three-pack, but he did. It's the same facial expression, pretty much the same head scan, but with different hair. And uh, this is the same exact uh, head scan as his last Elite, though. We got the great USA attire going all the way around, and it's mixed in with their ice cream bars. You know, you got the ice cream bars going around with Xavier's face on it. And he does come with his entrance jacket, USA wrist tape, pretty much just like every other New Day Elite except with a new attire. And we do have a teal Francesca looking absolutely beautiful. I don't remember exactly when they wore this attire. I believe it was Battleground. If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong though. He does have his little elf kick pad shoes right there looking fantastic. And then we have Kofi Kingston who also looks great. Brand new Kofi Kingston head skin. Not sure how I feel about it just yet. I think it's good, but at the same time it looks a little bit off. Uh, it's sort of like that realistic looking technology mixed with the regular head scan so I don't really know how to feel just yet but he also comes with his entrance shirt or vest as he always does and then he has the same style tights he's got the red white and blue stripes and stars from the American flag with his ice cream bars and the droopiness and the you know melting ice cream going down like the USA tights and then his USA kick pads with his white winged Adidas shoes looking great. Uh, really enjoy this, uh, these figures. I think this is the best New Day set we've gotten. Can't wait to see what Big E looks like in his USA attire with Elite 61. But uh, I had a cool idea for a tag team coming soon to the MDT NXT uh, division on my pick fed. I'm going to be do bringing a new tag team that's going to be sort of parody, but it's going to be hilarious. I hope you guys check it out. But uh, we have the New Day in Elite 60, and we're moving on to our last figure. So saving the best for last, guys, we do have my boy, the GOAT, John Cena in the Elite 60. So let's go ahead and crack him open. So here we have John Cena, guys, and of course he always comes with his hat. And then this this one actually comes with his shirt, so it looks, looks great. We got the orange version of the uh, Florida Gator attire, as I like to call it, but it's the blue and orange. Looks very good. I already had a custom shirt of it, but I'll always throw this into the uh, shirt collection. And this adds another John Cena. I believe this is my 89th Elite John Cena to add to the collection. This literally looks like his Elite 54 figure, except instead of khaki shorts, we have the uh, navy blue jean shorts that look pretty freaking good. I love the colorway on it. We do have like the red, white, black, and uh, blue on his uh, belt right there looking nice. And then this is the first figure that we're getting with his updated shoes, so that looks great. Cannot wait for John Cena to return here. But uh, I wish they'd give him a new head scan. I want a new head scan. I think it would really do wonders for his figures. And they gave him the old arm mold. So thank God they gave him the old arm mold. This is removable if you want to count that as another accessory. And then we have his uh, dog tags as always. I have so many of these dog tags, guys. It's like unbelievable. I think I have more John Cena dog tags than Elite figures itself. But what a great way to end it, guys. I guess we can go ahead and add his shirt there. And then we will uh, round up all the figures we got here today. So here we have John in his shirt, guys. And this is usually why I get a custom shirt right here if you guys can tell this shirts way too small they don't make the shirts big enough so it's like his it's just like he's wearing a freaking like small like small kids t-shirt or something like that like it is literally squeezing the life out of him I wouldn't wear a t-shirt if it looked like that on me but uh, anyways guys that is it for all the figures guys let's go ahead and round them all up so here's our haul all lined up, guys. We have 10 brand new WWE Elite figures, two Seth Rollins SummerSlam Elites, one NXT Target Exclusive Ember Moon, Target Exclusive Shark, Elite 60, Triple H, Xavier Woods, John Cena, Kofi Kingston, and Andre the Giant, and NXT Rusev from Target, all looking great. Cannot wait to get these up on the shelf and, you know, take a look, pose these guys around, get some pictures in. Maybe a few of them end up on the pick fed. Who freaking knows? But here we are, guys. Great little haul today. I hope you guys did enjoy this video of all of them. You know, again, guys, nobody really cared about my Elite 60 Elias review. As you can see, if you missed out on that and you'd like to check that out, go check it out on the channel right now. 
But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure-related videos. My Damn Hall's episode 50 is very soon. Vindication is also going up very soon for episode 8. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at My Damn Toys. Check us out on Patreon.com slash My Damn Toys if you want some cool rewards. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.